Speak with Bennu St. James. Oh boy. Hello. Ron Hope's a damn hero in my book. That's great. Yeah, I do have a lot of stuff on me. Certainly embodies the saying, I spared no expense. It is a fancy, fancy place. Hello there, friend. Oh, Hope Tech needs brave new innovations. We're so much more than space freight. Right, well, look, I hear you're an expert with grav drives and other parts. I need to ask for a favor. Sure, that sounds like me. What can I do for you? I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. Hmm. Uh, Oliver Campbell sent me. I'm here about a grav drive for an old colony ship. Oh, you should have just said that. Of course I can help you. <laughs> Oliver sent a courier ahead of you. I did some research on ships from that era, and I have a decent idea what we're dealing with. Sweet. So grab drives didn't really take off until after the ship was built. But I've got access to an ancient grab drive that looks like it could be compatible. With some minor adjustments. It's in good shape, too. But it's not cheap, though. Neither is the labor. Just pay the combined cost of parts and labor and it's yours? Uh, 40,000 credits? Whoo! I'll be right back. Wait, we still have business to discuss. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Uh, hold up, I gotta... <laughs> gotta pop a hippolata here. <laughs> Whoo! are making me a bit jealous. You could say valuable weight. Ah, right. Let's persuade this down. It's a pretty big ask, given how rare these old grab drives are. Hmm, let's see. Surely the profit you'd make doesn't compare to the freedom you'd be giving these people. Maybe it is selfish of me to demand such a price. Yeah! Tell you what. Sounds like this is for a good cause. While I can't give you the part for free, I won't charge you for the work. Yeah! Alright! Yeah, 25,000? Totally reasonable. Thank you. You're done, right? It is. I'll get to work on it right away. I recommend you go back to the ship and ask the captain to prepare for its retrofit. Standard stuff. I'm sure they have an engineer on board to help. They do. We'll send the part along when it's ready and install it with the help of Oliver's people. Pleasure working with you. Yeah! Alright! Grab drive manual added. Uh. This manual is full of complex diagrams and instructions for how to install an anti grav drive into a variety of old ships. <sighs> Don't spring for the extended warranty. You just won't need it. All right, we got to get out of here. We'll do it the dramatic way. This is where I wish I had an umbrella. I've seen a lot of, um... general discourse around this game in regards to, like, fast travel, and it amuses me a lot, just cause like... They, there's so many like, in-between things that you can do... to cut a little bit of the fast travel, like there's obviously loading screens regardless... of how things are like, set up. But like, 
If you want to, like, do a little takeoff like that occasionally, you can. Or if you want to do that all the time, you can. You want to, like, set a route up manually for leaving the system and see every single jump individually, you can do that. You control the button to press. <laughs> but it's just really amusing to me. I don't know, like, I... Sometimes I can be, like, overly optimistic with some things. I love the feeling after a perfect jump. But I feel like with this game, I had some pretty good expectations of how a lot of things were going to handle. Uh, but a lot of people kind of have been thinking that this shit was going to be like... The most next level game, you, know, you could literally fly from one planet to another, go through the atmosphere, walk across the entire world. That's like, we don't... <laughs> the only game we even have somewhat close to that is No Man's Sky, and that has its own like host of like issues because of it. So it's like, why... why uh, Maybe tamper that down a little bit, people. Holy shit. Don't get me wrong, I am down for whenever our games can get to that point. If I live long enough to see that, I'd love to, like, actually go from, you know, ground to sky, every single planet Scott. An atmosphere you can go in and out of, and, like, populated cities all over the place. Well, that was fun. Now what? But realistically, that's not going to happen for a long time. And if it did happen, it would either require such an incredibly large amount of, like, like work and budget and money going into it, or a lot of it would have to be like what happened with No Man's Sky, procedurally generated, potentially with, like, AI. I've lived my entire life. See, I don't know, it's just, uh... It's just so odd. The things that were, like, some people were, like, disappointed for. There's plenty of things to be disappointed about with the game, depending on, like, your varying different expectations. But I, I always knew that, like, after playing stuff like Fallout 3, Skyrim, Fallout 4, the way that things have been with Bethesda's games, that it was always going to basically be a bunch of, like, separated environments separated by like loading screens and stuff. I'm actually surprised by how many things we don't have to go through a loading screen to go into, honestly. But you know, obviously there's still plenty of things in between. But like, yeah, even our like ship isn't like act way we you know act with the bug that we had before. We got to see a little bit behind the scenes a little bit. Our ship isn't even like an actual like physical flying object technically, or like or at least like the internal part of it in comparison to the rest of the outside. It's like the it's like they slap two different levels together. <laughs> appreciate the good engine. If the other colonists knew how many times the constant almost came apart at the seams, whew, well, thankfully I never let it. Hey, I mean, I'm here to help you with uh, getting a grav drive for your ship. What grav drive? <laughs> <laughs> Just joking with you. The Paradiso engineers filled me in. Okay, let's see what we need to do. Hmm. All right. This will be fun, and hopefully there will be no explosions in the process. Yeah, hopefully. I have just received word that the drive is here. Ready to get to work? Wait, me? You need my help? Yes, of course I need your help. My team needs to stay on top of their daily maintenance, and I need to make my own preparations for this gravity drive you brought us. Your help is going to be vital to this procedure, and have no worries. It'll be easy. I'll guide you through the process. Uh-huh. <laughs> What'd you say about explosions? Oh, <laughs> don't worry about that. Just a little engineering humor. Uh, we've kept this ship going with minimal incidents this long. I'm not about to let anything happen to it now. But, to be clear, what we're doing is very dangerous, and we should be prepared for anything. Oh, okay, ready as can be. Great, great, great. There are three preparations I need you to help me make while I set things up on my end. 
first thing I need you to do is reroute the power from the port turbo pump to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. Then, turn the plasma runoff inhibitor function to 5%. What? Last, you'll need to decouple the magnetic flange pipe enclosures from the auxiliary <laughs> module assembly. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Got it? Let's hop to it. Wait, 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 huh. <laughs> wait, reroute the power to the, the, the gravity flange. Um, can you do it? I can't tell you how many times I've had to make do with inelegant solutions to complex technical problems. Oh, hold on. What if I, uh, we're gonna, we're gonna give me a second here. We're gonna open up my notepad here. So long. Excuse me. All right. Engineering Computer Alpha, which system would you like to divert power from? Reroute power from? Uh, according to my notes, we need to take it from the port turbo pump and reroute it to the auxiliary cryogenic radiator. All right. What is like out there beyond that little community? Hey, you'll find out soon enough. Okay, Engineering Computer Beta, uh, we need to adjust the plasma runoff inhibitor and put it down to 5%. And then the last computer over by him. Uh, we need to now... Uh-oh. There's a lot of words here. Magnetic flange pipe enclosure decouple from the oh! oh oh I right I, I right click by complete fucking accident that was so scary uh -huh. the auxiliary radiator flanges no. Primary radiator flashes. Fuck it, we just keep on doing it until it works. All right, I did it! Woo! That's that's how being an engineer works, right? You do you, you do it until it works. <laughs> the ship didn't blow up in the Looks process. Like everything is good to go, both your end and mine. Uh, can you go inform the captain while they're finishing the installation? Yeah. Thanks. Hey, the ship didn't blow up, so it worked out. But yeah, <laughs> needed to. These are exciting times, aren't they? Needed to make full notes there on the third one. Never seen a ship like yours before. And then again. Wow. I've heard about you, but... It definitely takes a special type of person to live their entire life, birth to death, aboard a single ship traveling through space. Yes, they are very unique people Just in this. Now that we know World. out there, things are going to be more interesting from here on out. Damn it. I want to just grapple up there. There's so much work to learn. Elevator! To the command deck! Yeah, I'm really bad with uh, verbal instructions. Just because our equipment's old, especially with a bunch of stuff that, like, you know, I have no fucking like <laughs> a bunch of names I don't know of. That uh, <laughs> we've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. No matter the outcome, I won't let my crew down. Look, your grav drive is installed. You should be all set now. Well, well, it would appear we have the means to go nearly anywhere now, thanks to you. Yeah. The engineers even upgraded our communications equipment so we can speak with passing ships. Turns out it was a pretty easy fix. That's good. Thank you again for all you've done. Uh, where are you all going to go now? We don't yet know, but we did receive a star map from the Paradiso engineers. I suppose we'll just chart a course for other suitable habitable worlds until we find one that matches the quality of Paradiso. Um, Puruma 2 here. Okay, well, hey, no problem. Glad it worked out. Without you, we'd most likely be stuck. But you went above and beyond. It's true. 
I'll make sure people tell tales of your generosity for as long as our society lives. I don't know if we can ever fully repay you. Thank you again. You're welcome, Diana. Oh, they gave me, uh... Oh! Captain, I think wow. I... Looks like it might be suitable for our new home. Oh? Set a course, then. We'll go and take a look. Perhaps this will be the one. And if it is, we still don't have a landing craft. Then we'll do as the Paradiso group suggested, and commission a landing craft to ferry our people down. Right. Well, here's hoping. Fingers crossed. They gave me that, uh, I think they gave me that pistol. Oh. No, they didn't. Damn it! I was so excited! They gave me a bunch of antique earth stuff. That's fun. I'm guiding the ship to better and brighter horizons. I want to talk. I want to, I want to talk. You're the one who helped us out of that mess with the Paradiso group. Nice to finally meet you. Hmm. I'm Jade. I didn't catch your name. Oh, jeez. Sorry. Of course you don't know my name. We never met. I'm Yue. Wow, I never thought this would happen. Well, uh... Good to meet you, eh? I'll let you get back to what you were doing. Sure. Well, unless there's anything else you want to talk about. What else do you want to talk about? What do you do here on the ship? I'm the navigation officer. I pilot too, though the ship was designed to pretty much fly itself, so I don't get to do that as much as I'd like. But I'm helping us to chart courses for new worlds. The data we got from Paradiso has been quite handy for that. Then it's just up to the captain to make the call on where to settle down. I hope y'all can find a good place. If the ship flies itself, why does it need a navigator? See, the nav system's not perfect. We encounter stuff that our forebears didn't originally count on. Astral bodies, space debris, stuff like that. So sometimes I need to take manual control and get out of tricky situations. Then there was a time I used those unaccounted for anomalies to our advantage. Slingshotted us around a few stars that weren't supposed to be there, saved some fuel and knocked a few decades off our journey. Pretty incredible stuff. That is. I figured there was something like that when they were talking about uh, saving some time on their trip. What do you think now that you know there are others out there? <laughs> it's incredible. I'm pretty excited to meet new people and ask them all sorts of questions. I wonder about all we've missed this whole time while humanity has advanced around us. Well, I hope... <laughs> I'll be watching the skies for you. I hope we can see you all again one day. Maybe help you out. Some of the crew are not happy with their uh, meddling. They wish to be on solid ground, well, not to drift like in space for any longer. Thanks. I know Captain right, Brackenridge has essentially given you free reign to wander the ship, but security will still be watching you closely. All right, Eminem. I hope you understand, given we have so little experience with people from the outside. It pays to take security seriously, something I understand much better now than in my youth. Well, good luck with... We've roamed the stars for almost 200 years. What's a little longer? My crew may not realize it now, but we will be much happier with a home of our own. Yeah. Why do you need to find a new home instead of just assimilating in a modern society? That's a good question. But I firmly believe that establishing our own home is what our ancestors would want for us. I think that we will assimilate to some degree, particularly when it comes to trade and exchange of ideas. However, we fared by ourselves for so long, it would be unreasonable for our people to give up our own sovereignty in favor of a completely different society's rules and expectations. It may yeah. seem like it's about me maintaining control, but it's more about avoiding massive culture shock. We'll get there, but we'll need to ease into it so future generations can reap the benefits. <laughs> I do agree that uh, you, you just, you got to ease into it a little bit. Take a little bit of time. You can't go full, full ham into the systems. But I don't know. So far, society doesn't seem too different from, uh, I mean, obviously, the society within this ship is going to be very different from the society that's out roaming the stars. But in terms of, like, 21st century versus this century... As long as y'all know your history and are willing to work with credits, you, you probably can get pretty far. How's your crew holding up? 
Understandably, some are disappointed that we gave up our home, but I think I've managed to convince them that this will be best in the long term. I have no doubt that even if it takes more time, we will manage to find something even better. And it's important to remember we're still way ahead of our original schedule. Everything will be fine. All right, so where are you guys heading first? Me anymore. Goodness, I'm not sure yet. We'll need to study our new star map. Then, well, I suppose we'll venture forth and try to find the perfect new home for us. It may take some time, but I'm confident we'll find something. And when we do, we'll find a shuttle to take us planet side. Thanks again for your help. You're welcome, Diana. I hope to see y'all out there someday. Constant is a peaceful ship. With your own home established. Careful waving that fancy gun around. You don't even see what it can do. I don't know, I mean if you asked nicely, I could like shoot at a firing range or something. So we'll finally be able to go wherever we want in a blink of an eye. Incredible. Good luck out there. Yeah, they went from a ship that's going to have to take hundreds of years to reach new star systems to a ship that can go anywhere in an instant. I wonder if someone from the outside can help her. <laughs> and to think, all this time we thought we were Speak alone. Speak with Janet. We've had to do our fair share of recycling on the constant. Not exactly. What's happening with Janet? Oh, I've heard about you. The visitor who helped us get into the situation we're now in, roaming the galaxy with no end in sight. Hey! Sorry, I don't mean to be ungrateful or rude. I'm just frustrated. Why? You don't seem very happy with life on the ECS constant. Is it that obvious? Brackenridge is intent on finding a home just as perfect as Paradiso. And it's clear that's never going to happen. I'd love to leave. But outside of you and the occasional passing trade ships we make contact with, there aren't any ways off this ship. And besides, Brackenridge forbids it. I've tried. She insists we stay together for the sake of the community. I'm stuck here. I could go talk to her. I wonder if I could convince Captain Beckeridge to let you leave. It's a long shot. You've dealt with her. You know she can be stubborn. Oh, I know. But then again, you did make her see reason before. No, I did. us on this path. Maybe you can do it again and fix this mess. Sorry. I know it may not sound like it, but I'd actually be really grateful to you if you succeed. The captain just needs an outside perspective. I'm confident we can get her to see reason here. And convince her to let you leave. Alright. I wasn't expecting uh, a little additional mission here. I was ready to just like leave. Boy, am I glad you weren't some sort of alien or something. Yeah. Well, how many more days, months, years of being cooped up here before we find a new place to live? I don't know. There are. I don't know about worlds that would be equal to Paradiso. Slash per Proxima or whatever it was called. Um, but there are a lot of worlds with like breathable atmospheres and only a, a few giant monsters, you know? <laughs> so the real threat are the outlaws around those systems. Uh, precognition. I get used to seeing you do that. No doubt the next one will be. Janet wants to leave, and I told her I'd talk to you about it. I'm well aware of Janet's desire to leave. I'll tell you the same thing I told her for the sake of our mission and community. We need to stay together. Each member of our community is valuable, especially Janet. If she left, we'd be at least a couple of weeks behind in food production while we trained someone to fill her role. But. I suppose if you brought us more food staples to tide us over while that happens, we could do it. Say, a large quantity of potatoes? P potatoes Do I have that? <laughs> Give it to potatoes. This should ensure you have adequate food while we train someone else. Uh, jeez. I guess we'll just go for the persuasion. 
I'll be the judge of that. <laughs> Please for Janet. Let's see. All right. Um, Janet's really not happy. You don't want her disposition to jeopardize your mission. I suppose not. It would be bad for all of us if she slipped into depression. Mm. Let's try this otter persuade. You really think so? Well, it doesn't hurt to consider this proposal, I suppose. Oh. <laughs> I didn't know. I thought that was going to make the whole thing go through, but instead... It just auto-succeeded one of the persuasions. Okay, well, I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. Well, you've got away with words, I'll give you that. Once again, you've convinced me to do the right thing. And while I'm not happy about letting one of our own go, I think you're right. It's for the best. Let her know she's free to leave on the next ship willing to take her. I just hope this doesn't prompt others to want to leave as well. <laughs> you've made a wise choice, Captain. I do hope that you don't have like a mass exodus. Now that we know there are other people out there, where's our Maubiti? Now that we know what's out there, things are gonna be more interesting than run out. What? Sandwich approach. ECS captain uniform. Ooh. Would I get to look like Diana? Sure is nice to know there are other people out there. No matter what the future holds, nothing belongs to If only we were specced to steal stuff. I'm not sure how like stealing fully works. But it feels like it's very easy to like take something and then still get caught even if no one could see it what is going on my, my beady's having like a whole fucking conversation that I feel like we need to be able to like chime in on here but I guess we'll just do Janet's thing for now Brackenridge. At least you tried. That's more than I can say for anyone else. Hey, look, no, it, it works out. I spoke with Diana. She said you can head on out. Wait, for real? How? I, I thought I was going to have to escape on my own somehow, but if she's given me her blessing. That's even better. Hmm. I made a compelling case for you. She agreed. If I'm being honest, I should have known you can do it. After all, you're the reason we're still out here. I heard about what you did for us, getting that grab drive or whatever. I was kind of hoping you'd overhear me and offer to help earlier. <laughs> I probably should have just asked you, but I guess I'm not good at asking for help. Hey, you'll figure it out, anyway, Janet. Thanks for helping me. I know you didn't need to. Hmm. What are you going to do next? No idea. One of the techs who helped retrofit the grab drive onto the constant mentioned a place called New Atlantis. Hey! Maybe I'll check it out. It sounded interesting. Anyway, seems like a good place to start, especially if you want to find a job that isn't farming. It is a real good planet. What about your sister? Julia. Oh, she'll be fine. She loves this stupid ship. I've tried talking her into coming with me, but she won't budge. Like almost everyone else, she believes in the original mission. Whatever. I'm sure I'll hear news of the Constance whereabouts. Maybe I'll even come back to visit. She's my sister, after all. Okay. Well, no problem. I wish you good luck wherever you find yourself. Thanks again. I'm going to need it. It's a whole new world out there. It's a whole new galaxy. We meet again someday. I'm sure we will. We were so close to finding our new home. <laughs> I don't have much to spare, but if you want, hmm. perhaps I can soon retire. 
That's something people used to do, I hear. How's Mao Bidi doing now that we solved the scarcity issues? In theory, yes. Thanks to you. Since we are free to travel wherever we want and communicate with other ships, we aren't worried about running out of supplies. So, voluntary terminations have been put on hold for the time being. On hold? Of course. We may still run into problems with living space aboard the ship if we go too long without finding a new home. Mm, what happened if the population grew too much? We tried our best to avoid that through careful family planning. Rarely we ran into situations where things did not go according to plan. And then we needed to adjust and make difficult decisions concerning our community and resources. We never did anything without careful consideration. But at the end of the day, we needed to do what was best for the ship so as not to put everyone in jeopardy. I'm glad you guys were able to manage it even though the, <laughs> I already forgot the name of the, 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 you know, getting themselves killed part still was like, that's, that's rough. Can I assume you're the chief medical officer? Indeed. There aren't many doctors on board. In addition to regular checkups, I perform surgeries, obstetrics, and other medical procedures. I also help train the next generation of doctors. After all, someone must. It's demanding work. Hmm. Alright, well, uh, good luck, Doc. Stay safe. Let's see if I can find your husband. He was throwing like a fuss earlier. Hey, maybe you could help out, Abe. He's been talking about needing someone with the ship. Oh, yeah? Everyone needs my fucking help, huh? to getting off the ship. Uh, what now? Now that I'm free to go, I guess I'll try to hitch a ride on the next passing ship we meet. I still have some final preparations to make anyway. I'm hoping to get to New Atlantis. I'll have to find work because I hear I'll need to earn money to afford food supplies and some place to live yeah I'm not sure quite what to expect but I've seen and heard enough about life on earth that I have an idea I'm sure it won't be too bad well good luck we'll see about that <laughs> it seems like things are very mixed in this this society eh, bye it's it seems both pretty easy to like find a job that you know pays well enough to like live and have your own place and or even just outright buy a ship and do even more things we were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship but we've seen the poorer side of life so you know poverty still exists it can still be a pain for somebody to get like a well paying job just because of our Okay, I guess he's on the lower floor. <laughs> Damn the layout of this ship. Just stay out of trouble. Hmm. We were never trained to address threats coming from outside our ship. Hi there, Abe. I'll be honest, while I'm disappointed we have to put off finding a new home, I'm glad my job is still as relevant as ever. What the fuck? Oh, uh, hi! Hello! You're the alien. Uh, sorry, old habit. Let me start over. You're the person <laughs> who helped us with our little dilemma, aren't you? Why does he sound like, like John Mulaney or something? Are you okay? It's fine! <laughs> I'm just a bundle of nerves still. Things haven't changed too much since we decided to look for a new planet to call home. People still come to me with their problems and concerns. Abe, when are we gonna get there? Abe, can we find a planet with animals? Abe, I'm sick of this ship and want to be anywhere but here! And so on and so forth. 
It's fine, it's my job, but it's stressful, and I'm already a pretty anxious guy to begin with. Just ask my husband. <laughs> All right, well, look, well, uh, what, do you, what do you need my help with? Sorry, yeah, <laughs> deep breath, here we go. <sighs> I'm Abe. Levitz. Abe Levitz, cabin manager on board the ship, so I'm happy to help you with anything you need during your stay with us. Okay. I'm suddenly finding myself needing to go. No, no, no. Uh, thanks. I'll keep you in mind. I'm happy to schmooze with you anytime. So... <laughs> I don't recognize some of the words you're using. Can you help me out? Oh? Oh, you must mean the Yiddish. It's an old, old, old family tradition. The Levitts have been trying to keep it alive for hundreds of years now. See, we didn't think the language would survive if we didn't, so we charged ourselves with preserving it. It's a point of pride for our family, and something I'd like to pass on to others so they don't forget. Like my great-great-great-great-grandmother's latke recipe. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Okay, so maybe, maybe less, like, John Mulaney and more any other <laughs> direction. Uh, did people really think I was some sort of alien? People didn't know what to think. Here we are, minding our own business out in deep space, all alone. Then we hear some sort of gobbled transmissions on the radio. Real screechy, real inhuman sounding stuff. Then you show up? People had all sorts of fakakta theories. Aliens, time travelers, you name it. We watch a lot of old movies, so... <laughs> anyway, it spooked the bejesus out of us, because we were expecting to find nobody. Mm, what well, can you tell me about yourself? Me? Hey, well, there's not much to say. I take care of people here. I live with my husband, Daisuke. Oh, no Daisuke's kids. your husband. Well, that might change now that we no longer need to worry about resources so much. Instead, I get to spend time with everyone in their families here. They call me their bubby because I'm like the grandmother they never had. I may have had something to do with that nickname. <laughs> what do you even do as cabin manager? Ah, glad you asked! I coordinate cabin maintenance, plan activities, even help settle domestic disputes. It's a demanding job, but in short, I'm here to keep people happy. I try to keep both the kids and adults entertained. Scavenger hunts, sing-alongs, fun little art projects, you name it. Okay. We also have regular media nights where our historian, Julia Yang, screens old movies, plays music, and exposes us to other Earth media. Yeah, that sounds like a valuable job, keeping the morale up everywhere. So what do you need help with? Oh, you heard? Oh, I was just quetching to myself. Mostly, I just need to find someone with a ship, but hey, you're someone with a ship, aren't you? Yeah, for now. <laughs> what do you need? I'll save you the spiel, but ever since we found out that people exist out there, the crew's been asking me if we could track down possible relatives. Ooh. I made the mistake of looking some up, and now they want to connect with them. Now, I'm not going to ask you to schlep anyone back and forth, but... Could you deliver these messages for us to connect our crew with their relatives? Okay. Um, hmm. Just tell me where I need to go. Oh, you're such a mensch. Thank you. Let me get you the letter and the information you'll need to track down the relative. Message from a relative. It definitely takes a special type of person to live their entire life. Deliver a message to Cameron Clutcher. Single ship now, traveling through space. To worry about losing you. So much more to learn about now. To say that I am relieved as well <laughs> would be an understatement. Wow, I've heard about you. Was I ever back here? Probably. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down trouble. So Oh hey Sarah Was the medical bay up here? Damn it. I just want to talk to Mubadi or at least catch them in their little conversation. 
Okay. Uh, nope, we gotta go down to residential. Ah, oh, shit, I went to maintenance level. Maybe that's where we need to go anyways, aha! As I always tell my patients, if there is ever anything you need from me, I will do my I best to help. Your wife said you had volunteered for termination. Why'd you do that? Back when resources were a concern, it was a necessity for our continued survival. The old make way for the young. That's how it had always been. Our daughter is now pregnant with her second child, and the constant was at capacity. It seemed only fitting that the oldest of our family make way for the youngest. But now, there is no need for that anymore. And so, I get to live out the remainder of my days. As you can imagine, Laura and I is much happier now. I bet your daughter is too, dude. What the fuck? The next time you save us all from a terrible laundry accident. And I'll give you one of my extra potatoes. Such a kind and generous sacrifice, but I bet you're glad you don't need to go through it now. I am, but I would have gone through with it if need be. It is the way I was raised to be, to make sacrifices so that others may live on. There used to be an elderly couple on board. They had no children, so their family name was to die with them. I convinced Lorelei that we should take it on in their honor. Which is why we are now the DeCostas. My brother will continue our family legacy. Hey, hey, what was it like living on this ship for all these years? Ah, uh, life on a colony ship has its ups and downs, as you can probably imagine. I tend to look on the bright side of things, however. To the best of our knowledge, we were on a critical mission, saving the human race from extinction. That notion was always with us, and it instilled a sense of pride and duty. Sure, the living quarters could be considered cramped, and we could go nowhere else. But we also had near endless time with friends and loved ones. True. I suppose as I get on in years, I have learned to appreciate that more than anything. Yeah, I bet it wasn't really all too bad. Uh... What were you one? Uh, why were you one of the ones to come greet me when I first arrived? I know it must seem strange to you. I am not a captain, nor am I a security guard. But I was brought along for a very specific reason. The captain trusts me to de-escalate situations. Uh, pardon me saying, but we did not know who you were or what your intents were. So, Captain Breckenridge wanted me to come along as a friendly face and keep the conversation amicable. I am glad that you were peaceful, and my role was as limited as it was. Thank you. You're welcome, my booty. What do you even do here? I'm a doctor and a counselor. Okay. I assist my wife Lorelai in performing minor medical duties, but I also practice psychology and help maintain our crew's mental health. Well, I'm glad you get to survive, my booty. I'm gonna get off the ship now. Have to see one more potato. I'm gonna scream. <laughs> Janet, Janet, you're you're on your way out. You're on your way out. Right. How many more days, months, years have been cooked up here? I've asked you to keep the ship safe. Thank you. Anyone comes down that hallway, you deck them. We don't warm up the engines, we warm up ourselves. You need what's on your mind? I would to wake up every day to someone like you. <laughs> Alright, so where do they even want me to go for that family reunion mission? Neon! <laughs> uh. That's gonna have to wait. Hmm. Well, I think I'm ready to help Sam Co with his mission to Aquila City. I want to see if doing the main mission gets us some big rewards, namely XP. I'm so desperate for like 
big XP. <laughs> Set course. That's not too bad. Spooling up grab drive, making the jump. Thanks, Freestar. All right. Landing back in Aquila City. I think we landed there before, but maybe not. Might have been somewhere else. Yeah, that was a long load of screen. Everything checks out. Anything in this year. Yeah, we gotta talk to Captain, Sam. It is. Let me guess. <laughs> you missed see me you. and you couldn't stay away. Yeah, that's exactly right. Mm. What's on your mind? Mm. Every time I look at you, I fall in love with you again and again. <laughs> I can't believe how perfectly we were made for each other. <laughs> so, um, what'd you have for me? Actually, yes, I do. Here you are. Pigment seed, okay. Do you mind if I ask you some personal questions? Fine by me. Okay, there's nothing new here. Hmm. Maybe if you're lucky, we'll talk again later. <laughs> Yay! We gotta keep up the XP buff. You're handling this whole captain thing. Hell, you know, we'll make it daytime, really. <laughs> <laughs> 